Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. It's Monday, so let's just go straight to NASDAQ 100 and US 30. So today I'm a bit late, but uh, everything still fine. So let me just throw this. I just want to make these things very short, this video very short, because uh, if you want to watch other videos, you can just go watch my previous video. So you can see here we have this strong resistant or you can just call it support but here it was a resistant the market just came and bounced here but from this point you can see that the market was just respecting this point so from that point also you can see we had a very nice uh, support here so let me just draw something like this we had this downtrend it's a down downtrend line you can see it was just going down like this then here we had this breakout the market came and retest uh, and bounced back again because this breakout actually it shows us that we have we can now go to a different trend line we were going on a downtrend now it means we switch to an uptrend but the market won't just make things easy for us. The market will just play around so that we get confused. When we are confused, the market will just shoot higher. Then, and we will say, hey, we saw the market around here. We just did that and that when the market is already here. So the best way is to know that the trend is changing. And actually, it's already changed. It's, the, it, it's a nice time to buy. You can see here, this it's a support even here the market bounced from this point and now the market is pushing higher so i don't see the market going lower uh, breaking this resistant or sorry this support it can happen but at the moment the market you can see respected this resistance several times you see that if it, do, uh, it does happen it means we will wait for the market to come break and retest sorry retest here and push lower you see that so i think everything is easy uh, it's very easy to see from this point so let's go to a smaller time frame so that you can try to draw your lines your trends line and whatever so before i go there you can see here we had something like this it was a trend line going up but you can see breakout market came here here we had a breakout the market is here it's respecting the support so we can expect the market to come here bounce from this point push higher slow slowly like that but this week i think maybe everything will be much better than last week you see so let's go to a bit smaller time frame let me just go straight to an hour we are on an hour time frame okay so from this hour time frame i hope you can see that the market uh, on this here it's a breakout we and created this uptrend you can see the market was just doing something like that so but here we had this breakout the market is now pushing higher because we had this support i hope the market will just come here try to bounce back i hope it will go higher we can also break this uh, it was a support from this point then go higher the best thing is don't confuse yourself the best thing is leave this trend line there and see if the market will what will the market do i think this thing it will end up as this it's a reverse wedge actually let me do something like this so the market will do something like this from this point and push higher or the market will just play around here the let me show you things like this do that does happen something like this before the market breaks here something like this can happen because the market actually is playing around because it's on the support and everyone is waiting to buy so the market won't just be easy as that you see the market will just play around before it push higher so i think the market will just go higher like that if that doesn't happen it means the market has to break this support 
and push lower and uh, sorry and retest here before we can say we're going to sell so let's go straight to us 30 because i think here everything is still uh it's easy to see everything the best thing that you can do is to wait for the market to open and see what's really happening then you can say you're going to i think the market will just reject before that before you can say you buy but if it's here you just relax wait for the market if it breaks here i think it will retest then you can say uh, it's it's time to buy so let's go straight to us 30. okay on us 30 everything's like this let me go to a four hour time frame so on a four hour time frame here not not everything is clear like on nasdaq but i think here now we have something like a support you see that i think maybe you can see that is very clear so let me go to a smaller time frame so that we can see everything nicely uh let's let's do exactly exactly this, this thing it's locked okay so you can see here we have this rejection but i can't talk about this because we have to look to the left before we can say this is valid we can see here we had this as a support the market break made as a as, sorry this was a resistant break this resistant came as a support came again in the bounce and tried to break this support then pushed higher so actually it's a valid even if it's not as strong as other uh, supports and resistance but you can see here one two three actually here is the fourth so actually we can say this is a valid support or resistance so i gave my members a buy position from this point so i hope maybe everyone is still in that position but maybe with the rejection maybe they closed their positions but i hope they did not now the market is pushing higher so here everything is very clear but what you can do is if from this point if the market maybe push lower you can say okay you will sell from this point when the market retest from this point so let's try to see if maybe if we we had uh analysis that shows us a sell so we will go, we're going to draw a downtrend and see if uh, that makes sense we can start from here and try to connect our main point so if you see something like this you can see you can easily draw your trend line try to zoom out i want to show you and i don't know how to and do something like this so that your line can be as easy as you can see now you can see something like this it's it won't be perfect obviously you can try from this point you can try something like that if we do that i see we cut other candlesticks so it means we will end up somewhere here so if maybe you say you want to sell, maybe you will wait for something like this uh, to break here. But sorry, to break here, this thing doesn't throw nicely. Something like this to sell. But if you want to lock, we can lock our profit here, then the market can break, come here, retest, and we see we can have another buy from this point. But we already had a nice buy around here but if maybe we still want to hold you can lock your profit wait for the market to retest again and push higher something like that but if that doesn't happen it means you will be looking for the market just to go lower but wait for the retest before you can say we're going lower but uh, remember that we also have another resistant from this point you can see here we have a resistance and it's not tested so if the market break this one we can rely on this one then we can say maybe the market will push higher from there because the market won't just go down for the whole week so the market has to go higher again but here it makes sense because uh, last week the, 
US 30 was just going high. Let me show you. Here, the market was just going higher. So it makes sense that the market has to go down before it can go higher again because the market goes something it does something like this higher highs or higher lows stuff like that so the market won't just go straight up so you should know that by now i think maybe i covered everything if i did not cover please let me know on the comment i have two groups at the moment uh us 30 and nasdaq 100 signals which is 15 dollars a uh, news trading is 10 dollars both groups uh 25 dollars please let me know on my whatsapp or telegram the contacts are on my description this is kenzo extra hot forex thanks